Hello everyone. It's Seaput Magur again here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to partition a disk or solid state drive during Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation. If you are installing Windows on a drive that has a capacity of 240 GB or larger, it is recommended that you partition your hard drive into at least two partitions, where one partition is solely for Windows and applications. And as a simple basic rule, a Windows partition should have a size of at least 120 GB, so that you will have sufficient space for all your Windows and Programs files. By having a dedicated partition for Windows and applications, you can keep your personal files in separate partitions from Windows and Program files. This way, it will be very convenient for you to do clean reinstallation of your Windows on the same drive in the future, because it saves you the trouble of copying all your personal files to another drive or storage device. So to partition your hard drive during Windows installation, on the Windows installation type dialog like the one shown on the screen, you have to choose custom installation. This will bring us to the drive partition list dialog, which lists down all the drive partitions on your PC, and provides the tools to manage drive partitions. If you have a blank, unpartitioned hard drive like the one I'm having now, it will be named drive in unallocated space, wherein is the drive number which starts from 0, and then 1, 2, and so on. In this tutorial, I'm going to partition my disk drive into three primary partitions. One for Windows, and the other two are for work and personal files. To create a new partition, select the drive to be partitioned on the drive list, and then click New. On the Size text box, type in the desired partition size in megabyte. But before we continue, please take note that 1 gigabyte here equals to 1024 megabytes, not 1000 megabytes. In addition, when creating the first primary partition, Windows Installer will also create two additional small partitions for system files on that drive, usually but not necessarily of 100 MB and 16 MB respectively. For this tutorial, I want the first primary partition, which is the Windows partition, to have a size of 120 GB. So to create the first primary partition of 120 GB, I will have to key in 120 times 1024, plus 116, which comes out as 122,996 megabytes, then click apply. And then on the information dialog, simply click OK. As we can see here, Windows Installer creates three partitions of type system, MSR and primary, respectively. And then to create another partition, select drive zero unallocated space, then click new, and then type in the desired partition size. For this partition, I want to allocate 120 gigabytes, which should be enough to store my work files. So I will have to key in 120 times 1024, which comes out as 122,880 megabytes. And then I will click apply. For the third or last partition, which is for my personal files, I will use the remaining unallocated space. So I select the drive zero unallocated space one more time, then I click new, and then I simply click apply. Now as we can see here, I have 5 partitions on my drive 0. 2 for systems, 1 for windows and program files, and the rest are for my work and personal files. And lastly, before we continue windows installation, we need to format all the 3 primary partitions we just created. To format a partition, select the partition and then click format. On the warning dialog, click OK. Repeat these steps for the other 2 partitions. Once all the primary partitions are formatted, select the Windows partition, which in my case is Drive 0 Partition 3, and then click Next to install Windows on the selected partition. Alright, so that's how we partition a hard drive during Windows installation. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.